Have you ever wondered about the first generation of computers? It's an intriguing journey. Stepping back in time to the late 1940s and early 1950s, when the first wave of these technological marvels were birthed. The first generation of computers were not like the sleek, compact machines we know today. They were behemoths, often filling entire rooms. Picture a device as large as a house, humming with the energy of hundreds of vacuum tubes, the primary electronic components of these early computers. These vacuum tubes were the heart and soul of the first generation computers, powering their operations in a way that seems almost archaic today. Each of these vacuum tubes functioned as a switch, controlling the flow of electricity through the computer. However, they were not without their drawbacks. They consumed a lot of power, generated excessive heat, and were prone to frequent failures, leading to significant downtime. The cost of these machines was astronomical, reflecting their size and the groundbreaking technology they represented. Beyond their price tag, these machines were also expensive to operate, given their significant power consumption and the need for constant maintenance. In terms of their capabilities, first-generation computers were a far cry from the multitasking powerhouses we have today. They were primarily designed for numerical calculations and data processing tasks. Their processing power was limited, but for the time, they were revolutionary. Programming these early computers was a task that required a deep understanding of the machine's inner workings. They were programmed using low-level machine language, a series of binary code instructions that the computer could understand. Input and output were typically done through punched cards or paper tape, a stark contrast to the touch screens and keyboards we use today. Among the notable examples of first-generation computers are the ENIAC and UNIVAC, the ENIAC, short for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, was a giant machine that used over 17,000 vacuum tubes. The UNIVAC, or Universal Automatic Computer, on the other hand, was the first computer to be produced commercially. These machines, though cumbersome and limited by today's standards, were the pioneers of the digital age. To summarize, the first generation of computers were large, power-hungry machines that used vacuum tubes as their primary electronic component. They were expensive both to purchase and to operate, and their capabilities were limited to numerical calculations and data processing tasks. Programming them required an understanding of low-level machine language, and input and output were typically done through punched cards or paper tape. Despite their limitations, these machines laid the foundation for the technological marvels we use today. So the next time you tap away at your sleek modern computer, spare a thought for its hefty power-hungry ancestors, the first generation of computers. They may have been cumbersome and limited, but they were the trailblazers, paving the way for the digital revolution that has transformed our world.